There seems to be no love lost between Megadeth frontman Dave Mustaine and former Megadeth bassist David Ellison, who was first dismissed from the band back in 2002, returning to the group in 2010. And then again, for a second time in 2021, he was dismissed from the band after explicit private messages were leaked online. And now in a new interview with Dave Mustaine, he says he was actually pressured to bring Ellefson back in 2010. And as for Ellefson, he said in an interview last year, being kicked out of the band felt like he was being kicked out of hell. He characterized his relationship with Mustaine as an abusive one. Before we continue, YouTube tells us we have a lot of returning viewers, and most of you have not yet subscribed. If you could take just a quick moment to hit that subscribe button, we would appreciate it. Ellefson formed a new band called The Lucid following his departure from Megadeth. He said in an interview last year, you find out who your friends are and you find out who your friends aren't pretty fucking quick when the shit hits the fan because everybody wants to be around when you're picking up your Grammy. Look, life is, you're never gonna be on top all the time. Your life ebbs and flows, your career ebbs and flows, all of that. I've been fortunate enough to be a career musician and I've had to go with the ebbs and flows of the good, the bad, and the otherwise. Sometimes from within, sometimes from without. In the early 90s, when we thought everything was going awesome, Seattle music showed up. No one saw that coming, so there's all kinds of internal and external forces at work, and I think the trick is to be galvanized, to be able to withstand the storms and come out the other side and still keep rocking. He said, I've been in situations with people that were just impossible, and somehow you learn to make it work. Sometimes the success becomes the golden handcuffs, so you just have to make it work, and unfortunately in those situations, what happens is you start to compromise your own morality, your own beliefs, your own integrity, because you just go, well, if we can just get to the other side of the ocean before we sink, we'll be okay. And then you get to the other side and the phone rings and they say, hey, you've got one more ocean for you to cross. So you decide to do it again. The truth of it is sometimes the reward of the music and being on stage and the success and being able to be comfortable and the livelihood, those are all factors. You can't just base it on any one or two things, especially when you're in the music business. If I were just always about having fun, well, there'd be a lot of people working day jobs while having fun, but when you're in it to win it and you make music your business, you have to put your big boy pants on and realize it isn't all going to go your way. And I think that's the hardest thing is learning how to compromise and learning which battles are the ones you want to win and which hill it is that you're willing to die on. And oftentimes, most of them, they seem like mountains, but they're really just mole hills. They're really not that big of a deal. And maybe that's just my upbringing in the Midwest. And Ellison also characterized his dismissal from Megadeth in a separate interview last year, saying it was like getting kicked out of hell. He said, I kind of saw the events of last year as just the perfect opportunity to choose box office over brotherhood. I look back at it now and I feel like I got kicked out of hell, so whatever. It was just abusive. It was unnecessary. Dave even said he had a resentment towards me that he couldn't let go. And now in a new interview with Australian magazine Heavy, Mustaine says he was actually pressured to bring back David Ellison to begin with, back in 2010. He said, Ellefson was in the band, he was out. James came in, he was out. Ellefson came back because the Drover brothers kept pressuring me to do this, get Ellefson back. He came in and we had that weird shit that happened. Mustaine's obviously referring to those videos that were leaked of Ellefson online and they released a statement announcing his dismissal at the time back in 2021, writing, while we do not know every detail of what occurred with an already strained relationship, what has already been revealed now is enough to make working together impossible moving forward. For his part, Ellison spoke of this incident in a statement to Rolling Stone at the time, writing, recently a very private video was illegally posted on the internet and false allegations were made against me. The actions in the video were between two consenting adults and were recorded without my knowledge. I'm working with the Scottsdale Police Department in their investigation into charges regarding revenge pornography to be filed against the person who posted Posted this video. David Ellison has since launched his new band, The Lucid, and Megadeth recently announced some Canadian tour dates with Bullet for My Valentine. You can learn more on both of their websites. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and check out the recommended video up on your screen.